Hello guys, welcome back again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Node.js web application in Visual Studio. As you can see, I have a Visual Studio open, but then we will just go ahead and, and work more. So we are, first I'll talk about Node.js. What is Node.js? It's a server-side JavaScript runtime environment that executes JavaScript server, server side. And um, I mean, doing a Node.js is something that, something else that you need to know is a Node Package Manager, um, NPM, is a default package manager for the Node.js. The package manager makes it easier for programmers to publish and share source code of Node.js libraries. And it's designed to simplify installation, updating, and uninstallation of libraries. So, before we can get started, yeah, you must have a Visual Studio installed. I mean, I have a 2019 and the Node.js development workload. If you don't have it, then you can you can open your Visual Studio installer. And then you go to the single components. I mean, you go to the components, and you will have you will see a node a node JS reference. So you are, you you have to download this before you can get started. So if you if if you're just coming from uh, Visual Studio, you can just close your Visual Studio. Um, check on this box. And then download it. Then you can come back to the video. Okay. So we should keep. We we gotta get going. Okay. So to create a new project, of course we we're gonna open our our start window. So once the start window is opened, we could just we we can just go to the create a new web a new project. So now we've got the create new project dialog opened, and as you can see, we've got a couple of projects out here. So what I'm gonna do is you're just gonna um you're just gonna look at the languages and I and choose um JavaScript right. And then on this part, yeah, we're just gonna look for web to make our life very easier. We select web. So as you can see, we've got like we've got like four projects that we can have a look at. So what we do is we're just gonna create a basic Node.js application. So we're gonna create Express four application. Uh, we can just create a blank Node.js web application, right? So that that's 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 even better. So we just go next, and then we create the ap application. We're just gonna wait for it to be created. So as you can see, I have the application. I have it. Um, I have the project. St um. Uh, created and if you could read what i've got here it says i've not got node.js installed so i should reinstall it and and restart the, um, the visual studio so that's what that's exactly what i'm gonna do so if you get this sort of uh, message just click on the download node.js and 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 and, that, and actually download it that will be sorted out so i'm going to restart um the visual studio as it's been downloaded and installed, and I'll restart it again. Okay, so once the node is completely installed, we can reopen the Visual Studio.
So we're just going to wait for the Visual Studio to open. So now we can go ahead and run it now that we've got um, the Node.js service installed. So as it's being built, we're just going to wait to see what actually comes out of it. Okay, so as you can see, we've got we've got it running. So we can um, just say once. So we have it running at port five eight five eight. As you can see, we have it running, and it's see the debugger listening on. Blah blah blah. So, yeah, so we, we, we've got it running now at the moment. So, I'm just going to open the, it now. So, as you can see, we, we've got printed out um, Hello World. So, if we, if we close it here, yeah, we stop debugging. So if we can see, look at this simple code. Um, I've not really showed you what is inside here. So, so once it's created, we've got really nothing here, with the exception of the server.js, which which initializes the server. Um, here we've got to use our HTTP, and we set our port to the current process port, or we set it to one three three seven, and then we respond with. 200 HTTP response and with this message here so we could actually add more more message just to just to illustrate what we're trying to do here so we could say hello world from hacked bytes Okay, uh, we save it here and we F5 again. So we're just gonna create a new one, a new project. So we can just initialize the, the SPS4 application. So inside um, the Express 4 application, still using a Node.js, but as you can see, we've got more folders and, and and more stuff to deal with, right? So what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make a separate video and explain this thoroughly but what i'm gonna do is just um the run it first so that we can see um, everything and then i'll make a separate video to explain all the files and how to get started with the express no just express application so we just stay i'm just gonna pause and run it anyway i mean it, well I'm, i've got to wait for the npm to install packages so i was talk briefly about um types typescribe I mean typescript yeah basically typescript is nowadays pretty much I mean replacing JavaScript it's it is a better version of JavaScript where you can actually write a strongly type of I mean types inside JavaScript so on the next video, before we look into the Express application, we would have a look at the um, with the TypeScript first and see how we can also get started with that, so that it will be much more easier for us to get started with the Express application. So what I'm going to do is just going to leave it here entirely and 
and actually start a new video with on the TypeScript. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. And let's keep it going. Have a lovely day, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.